art appreciators. To the Art Space Podcast. Brought to you by Lemon Street Gallery and Art Space. Located at 4601 Sheridan Road. Stop on by. I I forgot. I forgot. I didn't think of one. <laughs> Just go for it. Uh, I you always know. kind of try to think of a new way to say that, like swing on through or stroll on up to, to your favorite <laughs> citrus-themed art gallery. <laughs> And I'm your host, Shelby Nesma. And I'm Jay Coy. And she quickly put an end to my nonsense. Yes, you're, you're rambling. Very <laughs> smart, because I could go on for a while. Uh, and today we are with the messy yet marvelous, I would say, Katie Wallner from Hot Mess Studios. Yep. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome, Katie. <laughs> We're happy to have you. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hello. Oh. It's a frazzle kind of day. I'd I'm say. feeling pretty messy today. I'll be honest. <laughs> just, just quick check in. Yeah, um, quick check in. There were tornadoes today. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you, yeah, that should tell you when we're recording this. I know the day you're listening to this, there were hopefully no tornadoes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had tornadoes, <laughs> and uh, it was kind of a kind of a day. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, to turn on the weatherman switch in the middle of the day. I wasn't and... expecting to. I, I was going. I, start, I woke up this morning thinking I don't have to post anything today. It's just going to be a little bit of rain. And then I saw those red boxes pop up on the radar, and I'm like, Uh-oh. "Oh no! Oh no!" <laughs> Got to jump into action. <laughs> oh geez, but we survived. Yes, we're all yes. here. We're all survived happy. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yes, <laughs> I was just at uh, Lou Perini's before I came here. And of course, it was like, yeah, hot mess is in the building. I like <laughs> turned to walk away and then like knocked over their Ooh. like candy display. Oh no. <laughs> like with my back. I was like, why? I'm trying not to be a hot mess all the time, but sometimes you just can't help it. <laughs> Completely unavoidable. They didn't make you buy the whole thing, did they? No, they're like, no, it's fine. <laughs> just Murphy's Law works different in your favor. I I'd guess say. so. <laughs> What's Murphy's Law? Uh, an opposite reaction. No, that's uh, no, the first that's law. Newton, yeah. <laughs> that's Newton. <laughs> Something like that. Oh my gosh, I'm mixing up my laws. Um, it's like uh, that if a gravity some... thing. No, it's like if... oh, that's Apple Newton. Yeah, that's what's the other that Newton. Name? What the hell is his name? Isaac Newton. Isaac yes. Newton. Yes. I... Tim well, Apple. The apple falls from the tree, right? Yes. That's yes. the story. Yeah. yeah. It's basically uh, like chaos. It's yeah. It's like if something can go wrong, it will. Yes. Right? Is that yes, that Murphy's law? Yes. I've, I've heard people say that but yes either way it's not a science podcast how dare i bring it up we can make it a science podcast (laughs) no 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 maybe next week no okay (laughs) gotta tune in to find out goodness (laughs) april fool's day it's a good idea for the april fool's we have the science space podcast and i give a whole lesson on thermodynamics oh please (laughs) and everybody will fall asleep (laughs) love it i'll tune in we'll have you back for that one katie right (laughs) i like to put science to my art process so yeah yeah i was gonna yeah spiritual art great segue yeah yeah you you got very interesting Mm -hmm. techniques with like spinning yeah like gravity and and energy that you bring in and the whole energy field i feel like that you can't deny it when you you, when you see yeah. it in the art <laughs> and, and the results speak for themselves yes because you got beautiful stuff mm-hmm. yeah so um talking about that um <laughs> sorry there's a loud motorcycle they might not have even heard it uh, either there way was a loud car. Um, <laughs> carry on <laughs> yeah so um what got you into art um i don't think i can like pinpoint like a moment or anything mm-hmm. um Growing up, uh, I know I struggled with ADD a lot, and the only thing to kind of like really bring me to focus was like my own little art projects or like coloring. I would like color for hours or um, like art projects with school, you know, that would be I would work on them like all night and be so slow and focused about it. So I think it just kind of grew. It was just like a management type thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of naturally. I'm, so, I'm going to yeah. go on on a limb here. We've had like three guests in a row that said that they would always doodle on their homework. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> and <We're>... on myself. <laughs> We're three for three. <laughs> homework. That... Homework doodler. That's a yep. good sign. If you are doing that, you're going to grow up to be on an art space podcast, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at the very least. Yay. And probably also a very successful yes. artist. In yes. Your own <laughs> Gel pens. I love gel pens. Oh my pens. God. That was big when I was in like middle school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that Shelby? You yes. too? 
Yep, and, definitely. And you'd like draw on your hands? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd get yelled at if I drew on myself because my mom just like, why are you putting those chemicals on your body? You're going to get skin oh. cancer. Yeah, or something. Or just like no Sharpies on your skin. I get yelled at if I drew on myself. So, so you'd I. have to do it like and then cover it up. <laughs> I had just stuck to paper at that oh. point because I'm like, okay. <laughs> Probably smart. Yeah. <laughs> Easier to show off and pass around. Hey, I got tattoos now, so I got my own. You can't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey. So, like, look at my gel pen tattoo. Yes. Isn't it cool? I'm like, oh, yeah. Nerd. It's purple. It's being weird. <laughs> not, not uncool, I yeah. would say. Very cool. And I hate when they would get crusty and you're just like flinging it around trying to get the gel to go back to the oh yeah right. centrifugal force yeah you're just like flicking it around you're like i want come on pen i want that pretty shiny color <laughs> I, I found an old box this is total tangent that is stupid but i found an old box of pens at work that like <laughs> people ordered somebody ordered in 1993 and forgot about it oh my goodness and they only work if you like literally like drop it on its tip oh, before right. and then it'll write for like five minutes oh. and then it'll stop again and you gotta drop it again <laughs> i'm gonna i'm acting this out with the I'm pen surprised it even worked at all yeah uh, but they're very a cool green color so i like mm, <laughs> time sensitive pen yeah <laughs> <laughs> you have five minutes i'm the only Go. one in the office that has the patience to deal with it <laughs> they're like just throw them away <laughs> i'm like no, no it kind of works <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Kay, you, you mentioned a little bit of your, your, what got you into art. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have some like early art memories that stick out, whether it be you making art or you see, seeing art, experiencing either way? Um, one that always sticks out to me is uh, one of those projects I did that I worked on through the night. Um, I don't consider myself someone that can really draw well, but at the, this particular time, it was like this giant um, like orchid or lily I was drawing. I don't know if it was for high school or middle school, mm -hmm. but I remember um, just feeling like calm, present, no like real craziness thoughts going on in my yeah. head, just, mm -hmm. uh, just like quiet, you know, and I always remember that. Oh, nice. like kind of quiet. centering yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah and um that's the nice thing about flowers and just nature you can, who says what a flower looks like if it's vaguely a flower or anything uh -huh. go for it botanists <laughs> yeah. maybe well hey hey not a science <laughs> podcast not a science okay <laughs> strike two for me uh, <laughs> but um just nature's so organic so i love embracing that because it's your style you do what you want to do and um and yeah. it's an accessible thing i mean oh, you yeah, like see the flower you know in your everyday life mm -hmm. maybe or sometimes you don't maybe it's a tropical flower i don't know but i think i probably mm -hmm. saw that one in a grocery store there you go <laughs> oh, <laughs> the yeah. bouquets they had yeah. those like big lilies that they always have so yeah so, it's really cool nothing really magical about that just a trip to the grocery store <laughs> Um, you can get inspiration anywhere and everywhere around you. So yes, we love that. I know I do. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so moving on to the next one, um, who would you say who or what, um, had an influence on your art? Um, big one is, uh, Kalen Schwab, if I'm saying his name correctly. Um, he uh, is popular on YouTube, but he does a lot of the same kind of um, abstract, uh, intuitive kind of painting. He uh, does this giant spinard and different kind of pores and method. And uh, that's where the bike came from, was inspiration from his bike. But I just kind of tweaked it to what I would feel like I needed for from the bike. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So tell us a little more about this bike. This is yeah. a, a spin art thing. Yes. Okay. How does this work? Yeah. So uh, it's made from an old bike and uh, attached on top of one of where the gears are. Uh, my now boyfriend's kind of like, a, he was like, oh, we have a cute art story romance. But he, um, 
he's the one that built the bike mm -hmm. uh but it's on like a grill a giant like grill um plate that you center your canvas on i use mm -hmm. tic-tac right now to like just stick whatever you're spinning yeah. on that um once in a while it'll like fling off oh no <laughs> so i'm like working on tweaking that to be more like stable but now, it's worked now TikTok, that's the oh, social no, media no. platform right <laughs> You yeah silly TikTok, <laughs> youtube yeah yeah <laughs> you're using a thing an app to stick on your <laughs> tick -tack. no tick -tack. Tick -tack. oh did i say okay. tick tock no. <laughs> <Did I? laughs> that's what i heard i, I don't know it, no. i'm an idiot i don't know if you know our dynamic here uh <laughs> shelby's a very talented artist in her own right and i'm not uh i'm kind of a dummy so uh we have we have a segment on our show called educate jake where i ask the dumb questions that it's like, like non-artists out there are thinking i'm sure you have yeah. your what's, own way what's of tic tac art. no it's the little jar of mints that you mm -hmm. shake one out and they're kind of oblong. or what tack ticky tack what, it's like poster what is it putty yeah putty. poster putty got there. it got it you have educated I jake thank you <laughs> Yeah, just oh. like the putty that you buy, like you just just stick it there. Or show cards with those. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I so, know it now. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it works great, and sometimes it doesn't seem to stick to anything. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds like quite the contraption. It is. Yeah, Good but I love that there's a meat cute associated with it, and mm -hmm. that's adorable. The so. spin bike. Aww. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, you, you just um. Do you, how do you spin it? Do you just like use the pedal or? Yeah. So okay. then you uh, grab the pedal and you just spin it. Um, there's like a max kind of speed you can go yeah. <laughs> and you can either lay your paint um, before you spin during or during when you're spinning. Mm -hmm. um, all depends on like the look you're going for, how you're feeling. If you do it before, it's more of a controlled mm -hmm. um, action to where it's just kind of spread out what you what you already laid down if you do it during it kind of just takes on its own shape and energy so yeah cool mm -hmm. and some of the pieces that you've made from this are going to be at your show yes uh mm -hmm. unfortunately it's not coming up because this podcast is going to come out after it after it happened already but it went great <laughs> <laughs> yes it went great we sold all the paintings yes, yes. <laughs> yes. but if not still contact katie because she might be able to get you something yes help you out with that <laughs> absolutely <laughs> um so did you use that form um that method in any of the works that you did for that show um yes uh i think probably about half of them um and i used to share it with the public a lot um, with the kids but it started becoming like a lot it's kind of like a safety thing yeah oh i can imagine yeah, <laughs> yeah. i wouldn't want to get my hair stuck in that yeah yeah so okay. i don't really do that too much anymore um sometimes if asked i've had a, a few couples come in and they um, okay. wanted it a part of their like date package or oh, nice. so i'll give them like a little lesson so it's always fun yeah, that sounds I like do a lot use it a lot for my clients that get with the city through the CCS program. Gotcha. So, yeah, so I use that a lot. Oh, cool. Very good. Yeah. Yes. We should probably mention that Hot Mess Studios is a, how do you, how would you describe it? Um, I call it an interactive uh, paint drawing studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I like it as a place for those that don't consider themselves creative like I, myself yes i at <laughs> one point never considered myself like creative or artistic and i feel like these techniques um just allow you that kind of freedom without having to draw out or paint like a certain image you kind of just kind of feel out your own way or um like with color i had a horrible relationship with using colors um and people will say, oh, you got to study the color wheel. There was someone else that told me that I shouldn't be using black as much as I do because of yada, yada, yada in my art books. Huh. And I was like, I use it all the time and I think it looks great. So you just kind of build out your own creativity and um, it seems to people seem to like that a lot. So, yeah, yeah definitely. Um breaking some of the rules and going for it yeah definitely because mm -hmm. i think go ahead use black if you want to and some traditional paintings people say like oh it flattens it and xyz but i mean with this type of stuff 
go for it. Like you're just experimenting and having fun with the process. And, right, right. And just feeling what it needs. So yeah, if exactly. you feel it needs black, go for Listen it. Listen to your own intuition and, yes. and put it on your project without having to feel and feel like tied down to one idea or method. Yeah. You know Break what? The rules. I've seen the Mona Lisa. Pretty sure there's some black on there. Like <laughs> she wearing yeah, like a I'm black like, dress. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> da Vinci. I don't think it's. <laughs> I won't get into oh, it. Oh, is it you. like a dark brown? Yeah, oh, I don't think okay. it's technically a charcoal. A, there's something. Well, if you didn't know, with it being I'm a non artist on this podcast. <laughs> I don't know if it's technically black. But... Okay, okay. For me, art is <laughs> yeah. anything that you create from nothing. And with these techniques, I feel like it just gets your like foot in the door. So, like, mm. even if you're like a woodworker or you create anything that you create is to me, considered art. And this, I feel, it just gives you that um, opportunity to think that kind of way. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let the the puppies and the pooches think that way, too. Yeah. You have your little um, <laughs> dog so painting yeah. kits. Yes, I love those. I had to include, I was going through your social media to find some photos just for reference for us for, uh -huh. for recording. And I had to include the one with the dog in it. Yes. I was just like, those are so, I think that's the most fun I've had with the studio so far. So Not people can kids. order these, what do you call them? Hot mess pet kits. Yes. Uh -huh. People can order that and have uh, Fido uh, become an artist. <laughs> yeah, I saw people doing it on one of the other, I think it was TikTok or something. Now this is the- Yeah, yes, the actual, okay. not the putty <laughs> debate. Um, <laughs> the social media platform, yes. Yeah, uh, and I was like, oh, because I wanted to incorporate like animals into painting because you, I always found that fun if you saw like, you know, the dog's painting or an elephant with a tooth. Yeah, like the elephant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. And I was like, there's got to be a way that, you know, I could do that. And then I saw that method. I was like, oh, that's perfect. Um, so, yeah. And they get a treat. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah. It's a win win situation here. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, All right. Yeah. Moving on. Our next question. Who who are some of your favorite artists? We kind of got that a little bit with the influence part, but feel free to expand on that. Famous artists, local artists, you know, and, and who are some of your favorites? Um, I have to say, besides the one I mentioned, I don't really have like a list of favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, to be anyone that is um, going out of their norm or you know, trying something new, creating something, you know, you're my favorite kind of artist. Oh. So. Yeah. <laughs> just being an artist. Is, yeah. Just you're trying doing good. new things. Yeah. Oh, I love creating that. Creating new things. So, yeah. No judgment. You do you and I love it. Oh, good. <laughs> um, Jackson Pollock, how do you feel about yeah, <laughs> um, I love that he uh, challenged everyone's idea of art. Um, he wasn't the only one. It was an actual yeah. era that, uh, what did they call it, um, expressionism mm -hmm. art that was kind of like a defiant kind of kind of art era, World War II. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was pro, pre or in between. Um, but I just like that, uh, you know, that's, that's not art, but people don't understand that it's more about the process. Mm -hmm and the feeling and the reason that you you started that project instead of the end result so mm -hmm. yeah that's mm -hmm. something considered too the um feelings that came along the way and just kind of outside connections to that um painting the context of it the emotional context yeah um, letting so yeah. go of that energy he um struggled with <clears throat> his own uh, mental health issues and i think it was just more of like a release a lot of people are like they use art to like express a certain emotion mm -hmm. and sometimes we don't even know what emotions we're dealing with mm -hmm. and i don't like describing emotions with art i'm more like just like doing and being and just finding a place to quiet the mind and i think that's kind of you know how he did it and others mm -hmm. with that do that form of art so yeah, with Yay. drip paintings, yeah. Yeah, we talked about them a little bit on a previous uh, uh, episode. <laughs> Shelby recently listened to a documentary kind of style. Yeah, uh, podcast yeah, thing a podcast. about him. 
um, where they highlighted him and, and he was like my his recent, history. Yeah, my recent kind of obsession was learning about him and how he, he kind of rose up into the art scene and everything and how uh, he was people kept trying to guide him into like, oh, do portraiture, still life stuff, mm -hmm. whatever, traditional art, traditional visual art. And it just was not working for him and kind of just fell into this process. And I thought that was so interesting, that artistic journey, mm -hmm. him battling his own demons along the Sounded way. Sounded like he had a lot of demons. <laughs> yeah. Alcohol, namely. Yeah. <laughs> 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 But um But hey, we're talking yeah. about him. So yeah. Hey, he did something. <laughs> yeah. And I like Big that moves. he used just kind of objects like around him. If you really go into the art world and all the like technicalities, they mm -hmm. promote like all these expensive products to use for your art and oh, yeah. um He's like, using sticks. Yeah, yeah. right. And house paint and just yeah. simple drop cloths, you know. Mm -hmm. Um and that just releases the idea of that art has to be expensive and this way and that way. Oh, yeah. So I love doing that, too. Full disclosure, uh, my lovely girlfriend Megan and I did a uh, hot mess uh, <laughs> yeah, last winter, right. I want to say. And it was a blast. It was amazing. But we, you have like you have sticks and stuff that you can kind of just dunk in the paint and kind of. Yeah, just... that's our Jackson Pollock bucket. <laughs> yeah. I, and I honestly had a, had a blast with that. Oh, it it was I, I never thought I would enjoy it, but. <laughs> It, it was very cathartic, and uh, I love the what we ended up with. So. It's like the equivalent of just breaking a plate. It's that release. It's a yeah. fun like mm -hmm. bonding experience too. Because I got covered <laughs> in paint. I, I had a glob right on my glasses, <laughs> and we took photos afterwards. Yeah. And all I see now is that glob. But <laughs> <laughs> thank God for safety glasses. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I find that too. Sometimes. Um, you know, months will go on before I even do my own arting or um, I'll feel some, some type of way and just like in a really bad mood. And I'm like, let me see if this method of mine I'm promoting actually really works. Yeah. <laughs> so Qu I'll grab the control. We call yeah, it. <laughs> I'll grab that stick and stuff. And in the moment, you're just like, I'm just not I'm just not into it. But once you start going, it's like your mind quiets from even that thought or moment. You're just in it, and then soon enough, you leave the room, and you're just, like, clear-headed um, and uh, rid of, like, that heavy energy. Yeah. You created yeah. space for new energy. So that's what we're going with. Absolutely. Awesome. And I like that, like, taking a moment to, like, I'm going to check in with myself and just exactly. do this. So mm -hmm. always got to make time for your art I know it's hard when you're running a business. And yeah, everything, you're pretty but... busy. Yeah, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. God, so... whose fault is that? <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you're still doing that, taking that moment to just check in with yourself and be like, okay, I got some stuff I need to release yes. and mm -hmm. um, allowing yourself to have that because some people feel like they can't. So mm -hmm. that's really awesome. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so moving on to the next question. What is your motivation to create? Um, my motivation is, I guess, self-love when I'm starting to get okay. into a way and, you know, those negative thoughts start intruding. Uh, that what helps me to kind of like reset. I love that. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as Pretty Jake much. said before, center yourself, bringing yeah. yourself back. We haven't really gotten that exact answer before, I think. Yeah, I don't think uh, really. you know, <laughs> I, I, I like to keep a running tally of what people say. Like, And mm -hmm. we've gotten money. No, well, uh, We've gotten a one. deadline uh, or like, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. But self-love. Yeah, that's... most of my paintings, um, they're hard to let go of because a lot of them were done you know, whether it was like a bad moment or just times of high stress. And some of them, you know, I put like hours into them, right. even though it doesn't look like it. So sometimes I kind of look at like, ah, oh, I remember that was a terrible day. <laughs> <laughs> but then seeing it turn into something, you know, so like pretty and beautiful to look at, and you're like, oh, okay. Well, it didn't, it, it worked out okay, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, um, mm -hmm. uh, you can look back and just be like, I conquered that moment. And yeah. This, yes, definitely. This helped me through it in yeah, this process. Yeah, you're so. able to let go of it. Love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. We On this podcast, we love when 
art and mental health come together because it's just so important like yeah unbelievably important um and it's okay to express that not bottle it up and yeah work through it so no, yeah. we love Definitely. that on the podcast we, <laughs> we've had we've had actual art therapists on and mm -hmm. talked about that a little bit and this sounds like almost a part of uh, you know yeah. a form of that too you know? yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i like um when you asked about like to create or like being creative because when you say art i feel like we all resort to uh like paint or fancy pencils or something the but... mona lisa yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but like i said it's like anything you're creating whether it's woodwork or computer stuff this is just kind of like a stepping stone into your own way your own totally. um being is supposed to be creating and doing so yeah. yes and i can definitely see see this like leading um taking like a person who doesn't see themselves as being creative and this just being a, a stepping stone for them mm -hmm. or just um, breaking down the walls and emotionally creating and um, letting them explore those creative endeavors, even though they don't think they're an artist or anything like that. Yes. So breaking down those walls, making it more comfortable because I mean, it's, it's a splatter. Like mm -hmm. who's going to judge you on a splatter? Right. Like, oh, you'd be yeah, surprised. So, oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in the in a <laughs> next question. Mine but, looks a lot more blobby than yours. Yours is more globby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, smirk at you. Much, the... <laughs> what the smirk, what's the smirk for? <laughs> Just that person. I'm okay. smirking at that hypothetical okay. person. Because yeah, I was not, it was not me. No, no. <laughs> that is never you. But, but. Smirking at that hypothetical person. Yeah, no. No judgment. <laughs> All righty. And we're going to take a quick break. And we are back. Woohoo. Thanks for sticking with us, folks. Katie's here. Yay. Yep. Howdy. <laughs> We just did some mic stand surgery over oh, our break. Yes. Peek behind the curtain here. Oh, gosh. We we're falling apart, but we're hanging in there. Yes, we're still here. We're a little bit of a hot mess. I was going to say, yeah. I think it's a hot mess energy. <laughs> Everyone has experienced it. Although it's been like this the last couple of months. <laughs> not a unique. That snowball has rolled down the hill and has become an avalanche. But so. that's okay. As yes. long as you can hear us, something yes. is going right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to launch into our next question. This is we're we're getting into the fun part, the the fun questions, okay? okay. So, all right. If time and money were no object, what's your dream project? Um, dream project. I don't know if that limits to like one thing, but I definitely want No limits. To yeah. <laughs> take the bus like nationwide and uh do the mobile art studio across the country that would be so much fun let's talk about your bus we haven't really talked about it yet yes what's the art bus um i done some research i'm pretty sure it's the first uh splatter paint mobile studio uh Ooh. in a bus <laughs> but it's basically hot mess studios their brick and mortar location uh inside the creative space in a bus so uh, you could rent it for parties at your house or at your place of business. And then I also use it for the CCS clients um, that I get with Kenosha County. Oh, well, so, yeah. Uh, it, but yeah, and so in, in your dream world, in the dream project, you're, yeah. go, you're going national. Yes. You're yes. hitting the road. <laughs> yes. Hot Mess Express uh, mobile experience nationwide. And, and money's no object, so pop a new engine in that thing. Oh, yes. You're, you're cruising. Yeah. <laughs> Soup it up. Yep. <laughs> Add a second level to the top. <laughs> yes. That's what I want to do is do like a you know, roof deck type thing up on there. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, my biggest major expense that I'm sitting on is the diesel heaters so Ooh. I can use it through the winter yes so, that's oh yeah. to like heat the inside yeah right? mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah but yeah yeah, it might be nice to not be shivering while you're <laughs> trying right. to... Actually, that might help. <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> yeah, actually. New technique. Yeah, you might have something there. Hypothermia uh, art, we'll call it. I'll do it a, like a special winter event, huh? There you go. I, I'll be your guinea pig. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm one of those people that's never cold. 
I don't know, not never, but like I'm always hot. So I always say you're the big polar bear. <laughs> polar bear, yeah, mm -hmm. I guess so. Big old polar bear over there. <laughs> but um what was I gonna say? I lost my train of thought. Art bus. Art bus. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um it's good I I like that you're you're on the path of uh doing your dream dream project because a lot of people are just like um, I don't know, it's going to outer space or yeah. something, having an art gallery on the moon, but um, you're kind of on a, um, on always, a path. It always feels it. Yeah. good when the guest is like, kind of what I'm doing, just a little bit more, you know? So, so yeah, you're yeah. you're at least on the path to it, and we love um, hearing that from Thank people. You. So, yeah, achieving dreams. Living the dream. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe Hot Mess Studios on the moon, huh? Oh, oh yeah, you yeah, got to set up different branches. Yeah, don't feed me. Don't feed me any ideas. <laughs> we, we do sometimes say, what if time, money, and reality are no object? Right. Because so. we get some musicians that want to, like, play with a musician who has passed. So it's just... I think it was, uh, you might, Midwest DJ Productions, yeah. who you share a space with. Yeah, they they said they were going to have a concert on the moon with uh, Bob Marley yes, Bob and <laughs> Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain and, and someone that. else, but yeah. <laughs> and, the, and ever since then, we've been like, okay, and reality is no object yeah. too. Yeah. Well, they have those hologram <laughs> right. things. Yes. You could do that on the Maybe moon, this right? Is reality. Yeah. Probably, it's theoretically. You. Hey. Sounds expensive. Oh, but money's no object. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no limitations, Jake. <laughs> I, I got to think outside the box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so going into our next question, what is the funniest comment or funniest story that you've heard about your art? Hmm. Or maybe at Hot Mess Studios or yeah. something Yeah. Like that. Any, any uh, funny stories? Funny yes. comment while someone's splattering paint or... Um... Yeah. Or interesting groups that have come in, maybe, uh -huh. where you're like, oh, <laughs> yes. bachelorette party. <laughs> yes, I had bachelorette parties. Um, no, people just seem to, like, get pretty goofy. I love when the uh, adults come in there because it seems to be, like, more kid-focused, which is not what I wanted. So I get all excited when the grown-ups get in there. And they get crazier and more messy than, than mm -hmm. the kids at times. But... Um, I think, I guess I could say it's fun, uh, people kind of um, um, finding, like, faces or describing their art. They're like, oh, like, I think I see a fish right there, or that looks like this, you know. Um, yeah, but... when we were doing ours, uh, uh, my girlfriend wanted to do, like, I don't know, I think it came about because we were... We just kind of started without thinking, but then she's like, "This kind of looks like seaweed," <laughs> and so we ended up kind of making it look like seaweed. Okay. So I don't know. Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what's so fun about it. It's like your own mind is starting to create its own like images or thoughts and stuff. So that's fun. It's like um, a Rorschach test. Yes. So like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes, uh, sometimes people's uh, canvases fall. So. Um, they're going at it and they're really liking, you know, how it's coming about. And they're like, oh man, it looks awesome. Then you hear it like it fall. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God, they're going to get mad. They're going to complain now. But then they pick it up. They're like, oh, hey, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> and just, it's just, you kind of just go with it and everyone kind of taps into, you know, the hot mess and just uh, making something beautiful out of what can yeah. be chaotic or. I wonder if anybody's ever done the paint shooter so hard that it like knocks it off of the oh, nail goodness. that it's Singing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I do have these uh, kind of upgraded launchers I've had uh, since the summer that I haven't tried yet, but I think those would do it. Ooh, They're like a exciting. super powerful. A challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine stepping into the studio, it's like, it, it's a freeing space. I would imagine seeing the paint everywhere. So um, people being silly and, you know, just being free. So yeah I'm, I'm sure that um that studio is chock full of funny moments and just people letting their guards down and yeah yeah having fun. The world. now that you say that um a couple of times uh people have mentioned they're like oh my god it looks like a crime scene in here or like <laughs> some type of like uh 
like a underground, like a parking garage kind of crazy tagged place. Yeah, with all the I'm like, where's the clown going to come out from, you know? <laughs> when so, you yeah. least expect it. Yeah. <laughs> Some like funky artistic crime scene going on. Well, we love that. Oh. Yeah. Here's a side question. Do you, do you have to like peel the paint off the walls occasionally? Like I tried to once because I, um, for me, it started getting like, really dark in there because yeah. like the paint that we use it's uh uh really washable like it's you know uh, has a lot of water base to it so mm -hmm. like the colors will end up kind of like bleeding together and like being brown or like black and i wasn't liking that so i tried but i was like oh hell no we're no, just gonna no. leave it <laughs> <laughs> maybe the floor we'll throw some white but... on the wall sometime. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. You uh, get your hyper fixation when you're just sitting there scraping and uh -huh. yeah, too goodness. much work. Just yeah. embrace the chaos. That's yes. what it's for. Yes. <laughs> the mo do, do you consider that room to be the most painted room in Kenosha? Like it's the most gotta be. most layers of paint on it's the wall. It's gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> like there's like three inches of, of paint. The room has yeah. become smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It sometimes feels that way. Um, the floors, though, I will wash. Mm -hmm every so often so is the art bus gonna be like that now in in six so months time? i did try the paint launchers in there with the um the bookings i've had for it already mm -hmm. but i'm like no it's just too much no okay. paint launchers in there no paint launchers so kind of like that but not as much rain it in a little <laughs> yeah <laughs> just a tiny little squirt gun inches yeah away that's from pretty it. much what it is <laughs> <laughs> mini version mini mm -hmm. version yep <laughs> Uh, so getting on oh, to the next question, Jay. You're going to steal my question? Yes. <laughs> we, no. We've kind of gotten into the pattern of alternating questions, I but know. we don't have to. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I'm taking it. Take, All right. take it. Katie, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of your thoughts about the local art community? Uh, where we are, strengths and weaknesses, um, what we need to improve. What, what do you think? An event that you might want to see? Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, I think that uh, in Kenosha community, uh, it seems the arts have, uh, really started growing and blossoming and, um, getting a lot more, um, the attention that it deserves. Finally, I would still have a ways to go, but it seems like, uh, the city is starting to slowly embrace how important the art and music scene is with a couple challenges in between. But um, I like where it's headed so far. Oh, so, yeah. A positive review. Yeah. <laughs> keep on track. Um, we're on track, it seems like. So, but, yeah, we, we hear a lot of our guests say, like, they need we need more places to to do a show or, you know, that kind of stuff or mm -hmm. more events mm -hmm. and, and stuff like yeah. that to, to get the get the word out and people at those events. You know? Yeah. Um, on the music scene, though, I would love to see, even on the art scene, it'd be great to get to a point where they would allow, like, street artists or, you know, mm -hmm. street musicians. Um, in those bigger um, cities and communities, those seem to be the most thriving and the yeah. most welcoming. Because um, it is it is important, the arts and music, it all ties into everything. So come on, Kenosha, yeah. we need street music and yes. street art. Yes, Definitely. get it out there. We want to see it. Yeah, some more, more murals, please. What's the harm? Yeah. yeah. We've got factories left and right. Slap a mural on there or right. something. Yeah. So Beautiful. I welcome, yes. <laughs> or it'd be fun just like walking, you know, downtown or uptown and you've got like your portrait artist there that you can you know, just mm -hmm. pay walking by and get that done or, you know, and discover some new music uh, member of the community, you know, things like that. Yeah. yeah. That would be so fun and awesome. Well, cool. Yeah. yeah. But yes, more accessibility and more. diversity. Yes. yes um, for that diversity. To and, and people grow. participating. That's the other mm -hmm. thing. It's not just about all in the artists to, to do more and to start this and mm -hmm. do that, but... We need we need art appreciators out there to doing to stuff. show there's the demand. So yes, definitely. And speaking how and speaking of how can they find you? Where 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 are they gonna 
they they're here they heard all about the hot mess studios yes. the art bus um and where do they find out uh well the studio is held inside the kenosha creative space which is downtown kenosha um six two four fifty seventh street boom uh, yes <laughs> um and online you can book a session uh creatives for community.net find us on facebook I also do have Instagram and TikTok, but uh, yeah. it's hard to keep up with those platforms. So Facebook you. is where we're the most active. Yes. And you can find us on Google too. Oh, nice. So hot mess. Google. Can't forget. Hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> like we are in our recording today. <laughs> yes. But we're pushing through. <laughs> we're making it. Yes. Um, and you can find us wherever you get your podcasts. Um, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you get your podcasts, you can probably find us there. Yeah. Um, so feel free to take a search. Um, and you can also find us on socials on Instagram at The Art Space Pod and Facebook as The Art Space Podcast. I'm not going to plug our TikTok because Ooh. we don't have TikToks yet. Not yet. But if you want to follow us for when we finally post that first TikTok, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. The anticipation is building. Yes, you're going to want to see it. So go follow us and patiently wait for it to come out. <laughs> <laughs> or yell at us and tell us to get it. <laughs> or, yeah, I mean, who knows? But um, And then a shout out to Would You Kindly for doing our intro, outro music. Yes. So um, give them some love, follow them, and... Yeah, so I think that about wraps it up for this episode. Oh, follow us, follow our Facebook group, the Marvelous Makers and Art Appreciators. Forgot yes. about that. Um, so stay in the loop with what's going on in the community and talk about episodes. Basically, just a little place for art appreciators and Marvelous Makers to come together and kind of meet. Yeah, you'll share find some, something on there you didn't know about. Yeah, share some information and just kind of come together. So now that I've gone through my list of things that I need to plug, <laughs> I think that about wraps it up for this episode. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Adios. Depression, addiction, the thrill that you seek. Our restlessness cages the fire we need. We're here to inspire